Want to learn how you can buy investment property even if you don't already own your primary? Watch this video to the end. This is DSCR, Debt Service Coverage Ratio Loans, fully explained. I'm Conrad Van, the mortgage man. My mortgage license is 1951251. I'm going straight in. A debt service coverage ratio loan is a non qualified mortgage. Your qualified mortgages are your conventional, VA, FHA, and USDA loans. They have certain guidelines and parameters. So the QM loans, mainly they're going to use your taxable income. Outside of your qualified mortgages, QM loans, you have a host of non qualified mortgages. Non qualified mortgage like asset utilization bank statement loans, profit and loss loans, DSERs, fix and flips, and a few others. We're going to discuss the DSER in depth. So the DSER loan is a loan to purchase or refinance investment properties. You cannot live in it. It is investment properties only. Credit score, they want to see that at about 720. Loan minimums, 100K. They can go all the way up to 3 million with exception, they may even go to 5 million. You can buy these loans in your personal name or in an entity. If you're buying in an entity like an LLC, be prepared with your documentation, your EIN letter from the IRS, your articles of organization, your operating agreement, and your certificate of good standing if you're gonna be buying in an LLC. So we're gonna go through the three things you need for a home loan under the DSER. So the three things you're gonna need is a positive credit profile, durable income, and cash to close. So first, positive credit profile. Most lenders, again, wanna see a 700, 720 plus score. On your actual report, we're not using your debts to qualify you, but we wanna make sure there's no late payments, derogatories, or collections. That's it. A positive credit profile score of 700, 720 plus ish, right? The second piece you're going to need is durable income. So for traditional loans, again, your QM loans, they're going to look at your taxable income. The DSER does not work like that. No income, no taxes, no W-2s, no pay stub, no work history. Again, no income, no W-2s, no tax returns, no work history for the DSER loan. How it works is the appraiser will go to the home and they will say the home is worth X. That's called the appraised value. And they will do what's called a rent schedule where they will say, and it can rent for Y. That is considered the market rents. Most lenders will go off the lower of the market rents or a leasing agreement if you currently have a leasing agreement in place. Now, so the market rents or the leasing agreement, whichever is lower typically, need to cover the current mortgage payment, the principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. So we have over coverage, we have coverage, we have near coverage, and no coverage. Over coverage is when the rents are at least 1.25 higher than the current mortgage payment. Coverage is where the rents are right at or right over what the mortgage payment is. Near coverage is where the rents are 0.99 to 0.75% of what the uh, mortgage is. And then lastly, we have no coverage, which is under 0.75. Now, why would an investor do a near or no debt coverage, maybe you have an investment strategy where on paper it says it can rent for a certain number, but you know you're gonna rent it out by the bedroom. So you're gonna get a little bit more. You know you can get that mortgage payment back in the first week and the next three weeks will be straight profit for you. But let's review that piece again. The second piece is durable income. The market rents or the leasing agreement, whichever is lower, will typically be used and that number needs to be more than the current mortgage payment. And the last thing you're gonna need for the DSCR loan is your cash to close and reserves. For this loan, the typical down payment is going to be 20% plus the closing costs. And lenders typically also like to see about six months reserves. Because this is an investment property, 
they do not want you using the last of the last of your money. They want to make sure you still have some left over just in case things happen or it may take a month or two to rent out. They want to make sure you have some reserves. So in recapitulation, a debt service coverage ratio loan is a non-qualified mortgage. It is outside of the conventional FHA, VN, USDA, QM qualified mortgage. It goes off of three things, positive credit profile, the rents covering or nearly covering the mortgage payment. And then lastly, you putting about 20% down for starters with the closing costs and then also having some reserves. Now for staying to the end, how can you get this loan if you don't already have your primary residence? Or why would you do that even? Maybe you live in an expensive market like San Diego or the Bay Area, California. Well, some homes are over a million dollars, right? There are still some markets, Michigan, Alabama, Georgia, where you can still buy properties for 150K. So how can you use this loan? If you do not own your primary residence, if we have a 12 month rental history from a private landlord or leasing company, we can use that to satisfy the mortgage requirement for you to get this loan. So if you have any more questions about this loan, all my contact information is below. Reach out to me. My name is my brand. I'm Conrad Van, the mortgage man.